guys, Sarah here at The Simple Life, and this is take two. I mixed up and I messed up something so big that I was like, that's gonna be so confusing to y'all. So I need to do a little bit better of explaining. So we're gonna jump right into how we're going to be doing our morning time. We are going to be doing history, Bible, and science together as a family. And I'm so excited because last year we kind of got away from that the, the first half of the year. And then the second half of the year, we kind of got back to it. But it was like, since we didn't start off on the best start, I feel like that it just, it made our year go really chaotic. So we're starting off right to begin with. So we're starting off all together. So I'm going to be showing you, we will be doing Bible every day, but then as far as science and history, we'll be doing it kind of like a loop schedule, like every other day, like science, we might do science on Monday, history on Tuesday, or just, you know, we'll kind of change off. Okay. So we're going to jump right into what we will be doing for Bible. This is something we'll be doing every day and it is the more than words Bible curriculum. And our first read aloud with Bible, like when my kids are doing the pages in here, they have lots of different things to do. I will be reading our very first read aloud with Bible. And that is Adoniram Judson. I hope to get through many of these Christian heroes then and now. I'm so excited to say that Hoopla, um, it is a, I, we get it through our library. It's completely free. And I would highly, highly recommend Hoopla to where on those days when my voice is a little hoarse from reading lots of other things that we can just listen to the book instead of me reading it. So that will be fun to have another voice helping me <laughs> for a change. So that is going to be our very first read aloud with our Bible. Then the next thing we do is history and this will be done every other day so our star spangled story and a lot of times we do a four-day school week and so that will be nice because and it does, it's not always the same day every week some days i have to take monday off like maybe it's an appointment day or or maybe thursday is jam-packed with stuff because i already know like right when we start school i have to take thursday off because i have so much stuff which we could go ahead and just start late that day which we may decide to do that but that morning I have appointments and all the things. And so Thursday may be our day to just be like, okay, we're not gonna do that, but I will probably have my kids still do read aloud or just, you know, something educational. But anyway, so that means if we're on a four day schedule, a four day a week schedule, that means we will do um, history twice and science twice. <laughs> so this is our Star Spangled Story. I really wanted to deep dive into U.S. American history this year. This has two parts. It's got lots of different things. I already recorded a video if you want to go check it out. All the different things where you can see inside the books. It's beautiful. I love it so much. And while um, I'm reading this, they can be working on one of their pages out of here. They've got lots of different activities that they will be doing with each lesson. Then our first read aloud that I have chosen is going to be Squanto, friend of the friend of the pilgrims. This was not recommended. This was just something I wanted to do. So I just picked out a bunch of uh, American history books that we have, and I am excited about that. The next thing on our loop schedule is going to be science, and our very first unit is going to be mammals, and I'm so super excited about that. Mammals from the good and the beautiful. I am just so excited. I'm hoping that we will be able to go to a zoo maybe because my daughter's birthday falls in mid-October and then my youngest birthday falls in mid-December. So that would be kind of fun to do that for maybe a birthday surprise or something like that. So while I am reading that, they can either be drawing an animal from this Usborne book, drawing animals. They can be drawing like a little orangutan they can be drawing a panda bear a dolphin a watercolor or we i can find something online for them to draw and i can just turn the volume down while i'm reading the science or they can color a picture and then our very first read aloud for our science unit is going to be the story of dr doolittle i thought that would line up really really well with the mammal unit so the story of dr doolittle so that wraps up. That's kind of going to be our morning basket. And I will also have, um, like I said, spirals and folders and things like that. 
for their November thankfulness journals or just for them to write different things they're thankful for or just a little bit of something extra for them. I like when I'm reading, I like to keep their little hands busy or they can have a snack or something like that. Or maybe I would allow Play-Doh or like I said, painting or coloring or something like that. I'll need to keep their hands busy because they do listen. And a lot of times maybe we can and borrow the book from Hoopla. That will be nice to have another voice besides mine talking all the time. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please go to big thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed, I hope you consider subscribing and joining my little YouTube family. I plan to bring you guys along for all the things. I will also let you know how the loop schedule is going and if two days a week for science and history is a good thing or if I'm going to have to step up my game and spend a little more time on our morning time. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye-bye.